thing you need to check is the voltage and working distance and the image rotation. So if you click this on, so it means the image will rotate when you move the stage. And that's the OL stigma. So you can do that and check the chamber vacuum and the, the position is in the spec exchange. And we also need to check the filament extract, extract voltage, emission current, and uh, and pump readings, and all the conditions are in grey buttons, and also the vac diagram. And you can also check all the stage readings are zero, and that zero is 40 millimeter. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Dikai Guan. I'm the uh, administrator of this SVM equipment and um, also as the EVX detector and EVSC detector. So, this is the JL7900F uh, back SVM microscope. So, it's quite different from what we have already used, like the FDI systems. So, that's the electron columns and that's electro thumbs, condenser aperture and objective aperture and also that's the um, series of, of magnetic lens, electro, electric magnetic lens. And here is the um, uh, stage motor and also this is the big uh, front door of the chamber um, but we normally don't use it because it can easily damage the SEM vacuum system as well as the uh, stage motor. And this is the um, uh, main difference of the um, of this machine compared to FEI systems. So you can see this is the exchange sample exchange chamber, which is quite small. So you uh, in this case you can only know small samples in the um, chamber. Uh, which is quite different from FEI systems because in the FEI you can just open the big door and put um, put whatever you want. You, you just in just make sure you don't touch the pole piece in the uh, FEI. Um, so uh, we have lots of detectors in this uh, microscope. So for example, we have the um, stem detector which you can actually here you can insert it uh, also we also have the retractable backscatter uh, back back scatter detector which is uh, in the back of this uh, side um, we'll also attach the uh, Oxford instrument uh, symmetry EBSD detector which will give you a very fast high speed like 3000 points per second which we have already tested, so it, it works perfect. And we also have another EDX detector, so you can do the EDX, EBSD at the same time. So which is, a, for me, is a very powerful machine. So now I'm going to show you how you're going to load the specimen in this SEM, SEM chamber. Okay, these are the two standard specimen holder from jail. Uh, so. We normally use these two standard specimen holder, and the that one is the small one, so the diameter is only 12.5 millimeter, and that one is the big one, so the diameter is 32 millimeters. So normally we don't put big size sample in; it's just your material. For example, if you want to scan your metallic material, just the metal piece, no big line, no other supporting materials or a cold mounting materials. And the other important thing is, whenever you handle the specimen holder or your samples, please, please remember to wear the gloves. Otherwise, you will contaminate the uh, specimen holder as well as uh, your sample, which will contaminate the chamber in the end. Um, so now I want to show you how, how we're going to put the sample in, in the specimen holder. So this is the uh, standard uh, Austin uh, 
steel, I think so. So it's FCC steel. Um, so it was electroponishing. Now it was stick to the copper sticker. Um, and that this is the um, copper specimen stop. So now what we need to do is just put that s small copper into the hole and then you can use a screw screwdriver to locate to fix it. Um, that's it. Um, please make sure that the offset if your sample is uh, the height is bigger or higher than this uh, specimen holder. That's okay, but make sure the the maximum height, the maximum offset should be less than thirty millimeters um, for the small one. And um, for the big one, the thirty-two one, uh, the offset should be zero. Um, or if you, if you can't do it, maybe the maximum should be less than five millimeters. So that's the only difference. Otherwise, when you choose your sample, there will be some problem. Uh, we, which may touch the pole piece uh, in the SCM. This is definitely is going to be a disaster if, if this happens. Um, another suggestion for the uh, for y when you stick a sample. So my suggestion is if you want to do a EBSD running, and uh, that's my magnesium sample. Uh, it would be better to use the silver paste to stick your sample. This will kind of avoid the beam drifting or, or you know, image drifting during the uh, SCM scanning. Another advantage of using the silver paste is to avoid the carbon contamination. Because if the beam will, for example, when you focus your sample, we, we, uh, the carbon stick will be kind of vibrated or, or damaged during the vacuum. Or, or the electron beam scanning. So, uh, you m so my suggestion is to avoid using cup sticker if you can, uh, especially for the EBSD running. Now we, want, we are going to load the sample in. So today I'm going to use the, um, the standard sample from Oxford Instruments, which is um, FCC steel. Um, so the sample uh, was electroponishing and it was stick to the carbon stick. So in this case it's it okay because I, I just want to use it for, for training purpose. Right, so we, now we are going to put the sample in. Make sure the beam, the beam one is switched off. So, so that is off, no green button here. Um, another thing is to check the specimen is in the, the specimen uh, the state position is in the sp specimen exchange position, which is here. So it should be green here. Now, what we need to do is now we need to uh, wait the system. There are two ways to do this. You can either click this, wait, and press OK, or you can use the you can use the the button on the SCM chamber. So now we want to wait the system. So press it and hold it until it flashes. And then we need to release the clamp. So now, now it, start, it starts venting. This, the advantage of this exchange chamber is the venting is quite fast. And the vacuum is very fast as well. So now, when it stops flashing, you can open the this chamber. So now that's the specimen hole, space exchange system. So now, just what I told you before, this is the arrow. Um, we put the sample on the entrance of the, this specimen position and then push it and then you can see so now it's, it's been fixed make sure it's been fixed and then you can close the door and close the clamp and then we can evacuate the system so we have two ways as well so press the button here and hold it until it flash. 
and then you will hear the pump starts to working.